such mm-hmm. a tricky situation because I thought for sure I was gonna feel one way. I think initially I was like, how dare Sony not give and then I thought about everything else and yeah. I went, hmm, okay, wait, but there is two sides to every story. Yeah, no, this is like when you hear like a friends of yours broke up, who you know both bo- the boyfriend and girlfriend, so and, you're like, side do you pick? and you're like, but I haven't talked with any of them directly. I'm just hearing rumors if about what happened. you go to happened. their wedding, which side <laughs> yeah, like, do you sit on? Like, oh God, who's my friend? And that's kind of <laughs> what it feels like. <laughs> Hello there, Reject Nation. I'm Greg Alba. I'm Wendy Lee Zaney. We got Wendy Lee with us today back on the channel. Wendy, you could go check out her YouTube channel, uh, the Movie Couple channel, uh, which she does with her hubby, Dusty, as I like to say. Does anyone say that? Hubby Dusty? Dusty? Oh, I should. That's cute. Right? Hubby Dusty. Hubby Dusty. Oh, cute. They do reaction videos as well. They're fantastic. One of my favorite couples in the world. <gasps> Thanks. Hey, you, have you seen new rock stars before? I have. New rock star. You, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they're one of my favorite channels. I love these guys. I think they're brilliant. Some Spider-Man news has broken out recently. Uh, I'm sure you've heard about it since you work at Collider. I've heard and nothing of some sort. <laughs> yeah. What happened? What's going Spider-Man? on with the Spider-Man stuff? <laughs> we did a live stream uh, immediately after we heard the news, and I had some pretty strong opinions, even while I was outweighing both sides. Since I did that live stream, some of my opinions have slightly shifted. Some of them have just been more amplified. I'll talk more about it after. Afterwards, is I, I'm, I feel like for anyone to get, to get a good breakdown from anyone, I feel like it's gonna be new rock star. If you haven't seen their channel before, go subscribe to them right away. Let's see what they gotta say. All right. And then we'll give our opinions about it. So stay tuned after the reaction. Welcome back to New Rockstars. I'm Eric Voss, and Spider Man's days in the Marvel Cinematic Universe may be sadly over. <laughs> well, for now, at least, <laughs> talks That's how I feel. breaking down between Sony, the studio that owns the film rights to Spider-Man, and Disney's Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige's wonderful dream world that we all call the MCU. Mm-hmm. Since 2015, Marvel and Sony have shared the rights to Spider-Man, but that deal has, according to sources, ended. And that what, what, might what? mean we no longer get to see Spider-Man appear in future MCU films, and that MCU characters no longer appear in future Spider-Man movies. Yeah, again. <laughs> Okay, so I'm right. going to explain <laughs> what the hell <laughs> happened here and how this could dramatically change the future of superhero movies as we know them and what superhero this means for movies. a Spider-Man 3 mm-hmm. film and why maybe, just maybe, all might not be lost. Okay, so here's what went down. Back in 2015, Marvel and Sony announced a deal to co-produce Spider-Man yep. after Sony, who had owned the rights to Spider-Man for decades, decided to shift directions from the two underperforming Amazing Spider-Man films with Andrew Garfield's oh, yeah. time work. That one the I deal was, like. Marvel Studios and Sony no shared one. Spider-Man <laughs> so that Sony got to make Spider-Man <laughs> movies with Marvel characters like Tony Stark, Nick Fury, MCU events like The Blip, Happy. and Marvel Studios got Happy. to feature Peter Parker in their big crossover events, Civil War, Infinity War, and War, and in all and <laughs> war. Feige was the studio connective tissue, keeping the tonality and interconnectivity in balance as all things should be. Now, the plan was to extend this sharing deal by two more films, presumably a Spider-Man 3 and maybe another MCU crossover event. So what changed? Well, mm-hmm. according to Deadline, during negotiations between Disney and Sony, <laughs> Disney so asked bad. for the next Spider-Man movie and other Sony properties that Disney wanted to co-distribute that the studios co finance them 50-50, and that would mean the studios would also split the profits from these films right down the middle. Mm. Essentially, Kevin Feige and the Disney Marvel team wanted more influence over Sony's properties and to reap more reward for that influence. We'll keep helping you make Spidey, but you gotta pay up for it. I got new hats to buy. But Sony, (laughs) according to sources, flat out refused that offer, and talks broke down. Why? Well, Spider-Man Far From Home just became Sony's most profitable film of all time, passing $1.1 billion dollars the box office. And due to general greed, you can imagine them not wanting to share a dime of any future billions. And it looks as though Sony is betting that the recent success of the Spider-Man character has perhaps less to do with Feige's magic touch and the interconnectivity to the MCU, Hmm. which in Far From Home, spoiler warning for that movie if you haven't seen it yet, took the form of some Iron Man murals, ex-Stark industry employees, Happy Hogan, Nick Fury, Mm -hmm. Maria Hill, and Skrulls. Instead, perhaps Sony is looking at elements like Mysterio, returning J. Jonah Jameson and the 
groundwork that they've already done to introduce the Sinister Six and thought to themselves, mm -hmm. maybe we don't need the MCU connection to make a good Spider-Man 3 movie, oh, one boy. that we wouldn't have to share. Now, I take issue with that, but based on the tremendous success of a movie like Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which won an Oscar, I'm not surprised Sony Love feels that confident so that much. their Spider-Man properties yeah, are a pretty great movie. Movie. It's it's about this to yep. hold their hand. But I gotta say, this just feels like the wrong move. Fans have really enjoyed the collaboration between Sony and Marvel that has given us Tom Holland's Peter Parker. Now, I'm not sure how much Kevin Feige and the Marvel team were directly responsible for everything we liked about this version of the character. It's possible that John Watts and Tom Holland could produce another great Spider-Man sequel without mm -hmm. Marvel's help, but over these past I don't four think Tom years, Holland Peter wants Parker that. has also forged chemistry with a number of MCU mainstays, yep. Doctor Strange and the Guardians of the Galaxy, Falcon and Winter Soldier, mm -hmm. Rhodey, Ant-Man, Captain Marvel, Nick Fury, well, his scroll imposter, but uh, still Sam Jackson. Add that <laughs> to future possible team-ups with characters like the Hulk, Thor, and future MCU additions like Blade, the Fantastic Four, oh. Wolverine, the other mutants, maybe someday Daredevil, the Human Torch, and Deadpool. See, fans and Feige understand that it's the promise of Spider-Man merely existing in this universe. Hitchhiking on the back exactly. of the Exactly. Yes. Well put. So exciting. It's well put. Cool that there's a kid who could just accidentally swing Point into for any you, bonkers Eric. situation, react the way we would react, and know just the right movie reference to take care of business. And oh, Sony God, walking so away from Marvel here takes that promise <laughs> and it drowns it in symbiote goo. And worst of all, Sony's Bio. forcing Happy Hogan and Aunt May to break up. That totally sucks. Happy really needs this. His name does not reflect his emotional state. Now look, the MCU has a couple of the titles besides Spider-Man. And you could say they'd probably brace for this, explaining why Spider-Man wasn't included in Feige's Phase 4 lineup. But Spider-Man was remains phase five. the crown <laughs> Yeah. Jewel. I guess we were lucky to get him in the MCU as long as we had. We're grateful, but you know, now it's, it's kind of like the awesome dude that we've been hanging out with is being told that he can't hang out with us anymore because his parents don't like our parents. And we know he's uh. a better version of himself than he is with us. But guys, guys, this isn't over. Sources are saying negotiations are still underway. And it's a it public negotiation. It really is. Deadline is a kind yeah. of power play by one of the sides to create public it pressure to, to bring the other side back to the table. But here's what Sony being willing to walk away from Marvel tells us about their priorities for future Spider-Man films. I do not think this means that Tom Holland is automatically done playing Spider-Man. Like, no, if Spider-Man is in the title of a movie, folks, the actors and crew of that movie signed a deal with Sony, not Disney. Right. So it is possible that the studio, the director, the other key players could put together a Sony produced Spider-Man 3 that everyone's happy with and it could happen. It's also possible that this increases the likelihood of a Venom sequel with Tom Holland's Spider-Man. I don't know how I feel about that. I, whatever you feel about the Tom Hardy Venom, if this were to happen, it would require a great deal of tonal adjustments. Like, essentially, yep. Sony would have to do with Tom Hardy's Venom what Marvel did with Thor in Ragnarok. Like, transform him from a moody loner to a funnier team player. Another option would be to build mm -hmm. on the success of Into the Spider-Verse. Live-action yes. Spider-People like Miles Morales or Gwen Stacy. That's her best yes. Bet. Sony is robbing yes. us of Peter More Parker of hangouts face. with the Hulk or Deadpool. They gotta be counting on their ability mm. to please fans with other beloved names from the comics. But really, the most likely option just seems to be a Spider-Man 3 that deals directly with the aftermath of the Far From Home post scene <laughs> and perhaps funny. the Sinister Six <laughs> that has to ignore any of the ties to the MCU from Homecoming or Far From Home. Like, Peter would have to off-screen sever all of his connections to Tony Stark, probably toss out Edith and all of his uniquely Stark tech, and then, like, web all over all the Spider-Man murals, and then force Aunt May to break up with Happy. But well, I guess if all the familiar faces return, plus J. Jonah Jameson and a Sinister Six, maybe a lot of fans wouldn't mind. I mean, we would because we're older and we remember how great things were in the past, yep. but a dopey little eight-year-old who's going to buy all the toys is going to be like, hey, <laughs> Spider-Man, this is the only Spider-Man movie that ever existed. Essentially, Sony is like Thanos, telling Feige, I will shred your universe down to its last atom, and then, with the work you've done for me, create my own grateful universe that doesn't remember your old one. Oh, yeah, no uh... wonder Sony doesn't want Spider-Man and Thanos in the same sentence. Do you think there's a future for Tom Holland's Spider-Man? Seems like he was really MCU? thinking Sony's the enemy this here. Yeah. Because yeah. I've heard a We're here for each other, right? Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at EA Boss. Subscribe to New Rockstars for more Marvel updates. If something changes about the situation, Do we will then. inform you and break subscribe. it down for you. Thank you for joining me, and I just don't want to be there when Happy gets dumped. I guess he's just going to be alone with Tony's claw robot. I guess that's not the worst way to spend a Friday night. Mm. <laughs> Guys, that's an make insightful sure, video. Make sure to subscribe to them. It's funny because, I, I mean, I've heard some other people talk recently. It seems like the fan outcry has been a little bit more towards blaming Sony. I'm really at the point where I'm like, I don't think 
a hundred percent of blame goes to either department. Oh, no, it's like, yeah. no, this it's... is this is definitely on both of the companies Correct. right now. It's just usually I'm hearing industry people talk. Uh, they're they're going. It's more like Disney's the one being greedy and Disney this, but right. this seemed like he was pretty upset with Sony here. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I've been pretty heartbroken today. It was weird. I, I went to the gym this morning. Who went to the gym? Pump some iron. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but I was at the gym and I found myself kind of in this weird down mood and I was just sort of reflecting, doing some self-introspect while I was working out my glutes and I realized, whoa, I'm really like affected by this news. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was kind of strange. Yeah. Uh, I've never had movie news hit me so hard. And yeah. while there's still the possibility of they can make this work, everyone's biggest guess is that this is a lot of public negotiation, using the press, using fandom to kind of uh, help get, either have a party win some way, right? What bummed me out was this. As I was thinking about some stuff, I've heard the argument brought up of, I think, yeah, okay, if, if let's say Spider-Man no longer with the MCU, mm -hmm. I, I feel like it would, I, we could get some things from Spider-Man 3 that I, I wouldn't mind. Yeah. Something that is not so MCU heavily tied, none of this Tony Stark shadow. I didn't mind them. It would be something where it is strictly Peter Parker, Spider-Man based, which I think would be cool to, to just get that. Even if it was still with the MCU and they did yeah. a Spider-Man 3 and it was only that, I'd be pretty happy with that. I, I feel like that's something a lot of fans have wanted. And you can even deal with the death of Uncle Ben in some way. You don't have to show it, but yeah. you can actually acknowledge it. Because to me, I feel like that's kind of been a missing part of his character because mm -hmm. Spider-Man's DNA is so uh, intrinsic, intrinsically tied. Intri nice. God, God damn it. You know what I'm trying to say. one with feeling. <laughs> it's so, so it's tied to his motivation for why he's a superhero, right? Yeah. As opposed to like Homecoming, which was about, you know, I want to be an Avenger and all that. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That idea sounded cool to me. But then I thought about, okay, what about after Spider-Man 3? Mm -hmm. What really started making me sad was the thought that he could not appear in any Avengers movies. That's that's it. That's what bummed me out. There's a lot of people who have been defending the, the choice of Sony just taking Spider-Man in and just making it only Spider-Man based. I'm like, yeah, that sounds cool. But you're completely eliminating the possibility now of Spider-Man being able to cross over with the Avengers. And I'm yep. like, that shit's awesome. That's, yeah, yeah. that's so great. What I was thinking about was the, the Tom Holland portrayal specifically. You know, you're an actress. When you create a character, you have to create this backstory and history and the world this character lives so in. So what do you do with that now? <laughs> yeah, I just got the, it's like, you, are, you, are you gonna reboot the character in your head where you- Please don't. <laughs> you have to suddenly get rid of all of the things with having Tony Stark be your mentor affect your life, then the loss of Tony Stark, the whole world of the Avengers, and the adventure against Thanos, and the blip, all these things. Like, mm -hmm. does would this mean that they can't even acknowledge those things? That's what it sounds like what everyone's been saying, yeah. is that they can't even say blip, they can't even well, because that belongs it. to, I think that storyline all belongs to the MCU. So it depends on what deal they maybe eventually end up with. If they still can't come to terms, then maybe, you know, you kind of beg, borrow, and steal a little bit of like, can we use this part of the MCU? It's kind of like when Fox had X-Men, we couldn't use that with the word mutant. Yeah, couldn't, couldn't yeah use it. right. You're going to run right. into a problem with that. And that for comic fans, little things like that mean so much. Now, Tom Holland's Peter Parker has been in multiple MCU movies. Mm -hmm. All of his standalone movies have also had the MCU touch. So that's going to be really hard for fans to kind of dissociate that. And it's going to be so noticeable because of how the whole situation went down. It's kind of crazy how public this news has become. And it does seem like public negotiation. Say, hey, Wendy, mm. what is uh, Sony's tweet over here? Because I noticed new rock stars didn't go over this. Can yeah. you read that for me? Much of today's news about Spider-Man has mischaracterized recent discussions about Kevin Feige's involvement in the franchise. We are disappointed, but respect Disney's decision not to have him continue as a lead producer of our next live-action Spider-Man film. We hope this might change in the future, but understand that the many new responsibilities that Disney has given him, including all of their newly added Marvel properties, do not allow him time. Sorry, do not allow him uh, God time. damn it, Wendy. Do not allow time for him to work on IP they do not own. Kevin is terrific, and we are grateful for his help and guidance and appreciate the path he has helped put us on, which we will continue. It's a nice statement. It's a nice nod to Kevin Feige of like, yeah. he did put in the work. The thing that I enjoy about Kevin Feige is he gets the comics and I think he gets kind of what he wants to give the fans and what the fans would go yeah. crazy about, you know? And that's why he puts together the team, these producers and these and these directors, it works. But do you know what I find very odd about, when I first read this statement, mm -hmm. I thought it was weird that Disney didn't say anything about Kevin Feige. The statement specifically goes out of its way to say, for him to work on Marvel 
properties that he does not own, like they're specifying. They, that right. they do not they do not own those. Right. Yet they're talking about Kevin Feige's position, which is a company that is not them. They're talking about a a, a, a per. Do you, like, do you know what I mean? Sony Pictures is putting out a statement about. Kevin Feige, who's not one of their people. Right. And, and they're like being the spokesperson for Kevin Feige. Why wow, Kevin Feige's no longer I wonder if there's some sort of outcry that we missed about like, oh, well, Kevin made this happen and he's the one. So they're kind of like, eh, it's not just him. I kind of understand the, the part where it says like, do not allow time for him to work on IP they do not own. I mean, if he works for Marvel, technically can't work for, if you're a full-time yeah. employee, you can't just go and work for some other people's IP. Well, Even though you've, you've started it in the beginning because the deal was different. So technically, personal feelings aside, I, I, I think I kind of understand why they said this. I mean, no, I, I get why they said it. I just thought, I just found it interesting that they were that they were speaking for Kevin Feige. Because I feel like Disney should say something. Well, you see the thing is when we did the live stream, this statement hadn't come out. And then the statement Has Disney came, come out with a statement I don't, at all? I mean, not, not from the time of us filming this, well. it has something that hasn't come out. <laughs> uh, so I don't know, maybe they will. I feel like they should though. <laughs> should, maybe uh, in due time. It's in their best interest for them to solve this. The whole thing about the 50% thing of how that's too much to ask for. And mm -hmm. I'm like, all right. Maybe Disney gets like 20 to 40%, somewhere right. in there, right? One thing I did not think about when I was doing the live stream was how I think Disney gets all the money for merchandising. merchandising I didn't think stuff. about that, which is a big deal. Like yeah. that, that yeah, I'm like- a big uh, chunk of money. That throws a big wrench in the whole like, uh, screw you, Sony. And I'm like, oh, right. wait a minute. Uh, yeah, right. Sony probably deserves some money from that, don't they? Since yeah. they own Spider-Man, like they should probably get some chunk you of You feel change. like that ask for the 50% is a little steep, huh? I personally didn't when I was just thinking about the film. Considering how it is the the last two Spider-Man movies, like, if people are talking about Spider versus Great. I'm like, but that's a totally that's a whole different. That's a totally different. It's a, it's an animated movie. Together. It's not, it's Miles Morales led. Yeah, it's so it's, good. It, it's amazing. It's an incredible film, but it's Oscar a totally winning. different. And yes, so is, so is Venom. <laughs> which is not even Venom accurate for a lot of it, you know? Like they're getting a whole new director and a cinematographer for that Andy one, Zirkis. you know? Like they they yeah, know yeah. that even though it was a big hit that there are some flaws with that movie. I was thinking about the movies, I was like, well, the Spider-Man world seems to benefit so much from being MCU involved and yeah. that Far From Home felt so tied to MCU. Like, yeah. Dealing so much with post post uh, blip, post Thanos, loss of Tony Stark. Mm -hmm. It was considered the end of the phase. And also, who Mysterio is and where he came from. It's tied it exactly. all in like way deep. They like rooted themselves. Yeah. So I'm like, well, that that seems like it should be a 50 50 split on the movies. But if you're not going to go 50 50 after you've had a deal for five percent of, of just a small uh, Disney time, had five percent before. Disney had five percent. I think of like opening day sales. They deserve more money. I, I guess 50 percent is a lot to ask for. But so, I also feel five percent is a little. Five percent. <laughs> but, but, they also, low. but they get 100% of the merchandise. This is true. So yeah, it's this all tr true. it's all tricky. I feel like they'll solve it. I worry for Tom Holland. <laughs> I know, I feel <laughs> Not like that. Not that he's going to be cut like, out. No, just, no, yeah. no. Oh my God. If we get another Spider-Man reboot with a different, I swear, just flip oh, the yeah, table. They, they won't do that. No. God. If anything, they're probably going to throw him into like Spider-Verse uh, or something like that. Make Finally bring that live action to life. No. I don't like what you said. <laughs> no. <laughs> to me, this statement, it seemed like to try to point it all at He's too busy, Kevin Feige, to lead produce this. I feel like if he was getting paid what he what he feels he should I mean, be getting is, paid, it is, wouldn't be too busy, you know. This is a, this is also PR. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's, it's, yeah. Take it take it with with a grain of salt, if you will. I think it is nice that they put they did put out a statement. Yeah, no, it's a nice gesture. It makes them look good. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. Well, either way, new rock stars. Thanks for putting this video together. It was more insightful than before. Thank you, Wendy, for being here. Go check out her YouTube Thanks. channel, guys. You can subscribe to the Real Rejects. Click that notification. Bell. You can check us out on Patreon where we do weekly Q&As, TV show reactions, stream along, several shows reaction highlights included. And I would like to give a patron of the day shout out to a man named Brandon M. You're gonna like this guy. He's from Australia. He's 18, so he's just legal. So if you want to yeah. have an affair, cheat on hubby Dusty. <laughs> Brandon with an Aussie. guy <laughs> with an Aussie. <laughs> that's great. Great on Hubby Dusty with an Aussie. Oh, that's, oh, thanks, Wendy. Let's hope Dustin doesn't watch this video. Uh, he, probably, he probably will. <laughs> He's talked about like he wants to save up enough money, come down to LA, which means you're gonna have to go on a date with him, Wendy. That's what we've set up here today, Brandon. This one blocks me from it. No, oh, well, well, we I have ways of working passes. around. I think <laughs> Dustin might get a little bit excited at the thought of this. He's looking to spice up the marriage. I speak for them. Oh, so you are, are your official I, spokesperson now? I know how to make keep marriages alive. You can so 
I'm telling you, going on a date with one of our patrons will benefit both of us. <laughs> <laughs> He'll increase his pledge. <laughs> and, uh, Am I going to get a 50-50 cut of you that? You will get a, an experience. We're done here.